Okay, guys, we're going to give you a little, some little instructions about how to use your collar at home. So what we use here is the Dogtra 200 Gold. It's kind of just what we've always used. They did come out with something called a 280, but for some reason they moved the buttons around, and we don't like that. So anyway, what you're going to do, your collar's going to come in a box like this. What you want to do, the very first thing you want to do is slide this strap around so that it's opposing where you hook the leash. And if you're getting the dog trained here, then we've already done that for you. And then what we like to do is we like to tape the continuous button over so that you don't accidentally hit it because for 95% of dogs, you're not gonna need that continuous. So we just take electric tape like this and tape over it. And you can still hit it through the electric tape if you had to. So the way you're going to turn it on, is what you're going to do is there's a magnet on the back here. So there's a red raised area. And so what you're going to do is you're going to match that to the indentation on the collar. And in order to make sure it's on, you're always going to hit the pager. That's how you're going to know it's on. There is a blinking light, but we've just found it's better just to get in the habit of hitting that pager. And you can see it. It's making a sound a little bit only because it's on the table. When it's on the dog, it's not going to make that loud of a sound. So same thing to turn it off. You're going to match it together. The light's going to go off, but just to be safe, you're going to hit the pager to make sure. So you're turning it on, hitting the pager. Turning it off, hitting the pager. And then remember, for the really short-haired dogs, you're going to replace these contact points with the acorn nuts from the hardware store. And we talk about that in another video, but I, I didn't have the example of that today. And if the dog is small, then you can cut this strap. Just don't cut it too short. That's what I always do. And then in order to charge it, the way we do it, you want to put a full charge on it. And again, if you're getting the dog from us or you're getting the dog trained, we've already done this for you. But... You want to make sure the collar is turned off and the remote doesn't have any on or off, so that's always off unless you're hitting the button. You're going to plug this in here. You're going to plug this in here, and then you're going to charge it for 12 hours, and we do it every third night, and that's if you're keeping the collar on during the day and you're turning it off at night. So we only charge it every third night. Don't charge it every night. The batteries can't handle that. So your light is going to blink green on here. If it starts to blink orange, that means it's going dead. So, I mean, you can modify that, but really at the most, I would think, you know, every other night you would have to charge it. Don't do it every night. So then just make sure it's off. And then there's a little book in here, which I tell everybody to read. I don't know if you guys read this or not. So the other thing is, remember, your dial on here on top is going to control the intensity of the nick. And that is not going to have anything to do with the pager. The pager is going to go as long as you hold the collar down. And I want to say it's for 12 seconds, but in, in this time, 12 seconds is an absolute eternity. That's an eternity right there for a dog. You're almost never, I can't even recall ever having hold, held it down that long. So then it'll shut off and you'll have to lit up the button. So, and the way we do it with the nick a lot of times, you'll see we're hitting the nick several times. And you'll see this light will blink when you hit the nick. But a lot of times we're hitting the nick several times in a row. If you just hit it, it's a pre-timed nanosecond. The continuous, that's again going to go for the 12 seconds, which the standard was always 8 seconds. I don't know why they changed it. So, anyway, and then remember, you guys, for the videos, we use something called the sound box. So that's this little box right here, and it's set up to this particular collar. So remember, on the, and we're only using this for the videos, you guys. I get all kinds of emails. People, you know, think that the collar has something to do with the sound, but that's that's the pager. When you hear that, and then this is the nick, and the nick is going to have to do the lower it is. So that's on zero, and you can see it's very soft. 
And remember, you guys, you can hit the nick on this collar and turn it as you're going. So say the dog saw something, you can turn it up as you're going. And then the continuous, so the continuous on this is different than the Tritronics continuous. The Tritronics continuous is more of what we call a straight line. This is a stutter continuous. So it's, da, 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 da. it's, it's sort of several nicks put together, but for, for the most part, you guys, you're not going to be using the continuous. Most people aren't going to need the continuous. Occasionally, we'll do something we call bump the continuous, and that's going to be... So that's what we call a bump, just a quick... But that, you hear the difference between that... That's why this is pre-timed. If I was just, actually, the original collars didn't have the nick, and you would have to... They would try to say Nick, but you see you can't even, you, it's not possible. So if you needed to bump the continuous, that's just as, that's as fast as I can do it. And you can see that's a lot longer than the Nick. So anyway, you guys, that's just a few tips. If you guys have any other questions about the collar, and the other thing, they are totally waterproof. This collar is totally waterproof. The remote is water resistant, but... Just don't drop it in the water. I think they've actually come up with a, a waterproof remote, but I can tell you, it, in the 25 years of using them, I think it's fallen in the water like twice, so be careful. Anyway, you guys, hope that helps. See ya!